They're going to go down fighting. And we're going to continue to fight. It's Superintendent Dr. Diana Green's priority to make sure every school within the district is excelling academically and for each student to know they are loved. It is that simple. We have to love them. We have to love them with all of the challenges that they bring. We have to love them even when it seems like they're not loving us back. We have to love them even when they may not truly understand everything that we do for them. That's why she invited students, parents, and various stakeholders to a community screening of Love Them First, Lessons from Lucy Laney Elementary School. This documentary talks about a, an elementary school that is in a high poverty uh, community, urban community, and it reflects many of our elementary schools that are in our urban core. A Minneapolis news station spent hours on coverage of Lucy Laney. The emotional documentary shares the story of a principal and her staff fighting to meet the needs of their students and to get their school off the low performing schools list. I felt the passion of that principal exude through that documentary and it reminded me of principals that we have here in Duval County and children that we serve. And like Lucy Laney, some schools in Duval County share a spot on Florida's list. We have 21 schools that are on the list and that list uh, indicates that they are low performing schools. I'll be honest, I hate the list. That's the way I feel walking out of there. The list does not reflect what's going on. It was uh, emotionally packed for me. Uh, I was able to live uh, kind of vicariously through this young principal uh, as I live like this every day to see that here we have students who are coming from impoverished areas, uh, kids who may have different situations, and uh, they really just need to be understood and they need to be supported. Dr. Green brought together a panel of students, principals, and local education leaders to discuss how to establish better support for these schools and the vulnerable students who live in these communities. I think it'll change the conversation um, because again, you're seeing firsthand what really truly happens in the classroom or in the school every day. And we have to get the word out to the, to the community, to the parents, let them know so they can be more involved in um, curtailing a lot of things that's going on. Show them some love. If you will invest in the child, you'll see a reward from it. A reward that takes a village to achieve. The support we're asking for is, is not a huge monetary gift. The support we're asking for is mentoring, volunteering. Yes, if you can contribute monetarily to things that we aren't um, able to use taxpayer dollars for to help continue to support our schools. Many schools striving to succeed academically exist in areas where opportunities for business and community partnerships are scarce. To see the documentary, visit www.lovethemfirst.com. To learn more about supporting Duval schools, contact our Office of Family Engagement at www.duvalschools.org. Reporting for Duval County Public Schools, I'm Brittany Jones.